Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you an easy trick where you can check the engine codes on your vehicle without needing a scanning tool. Let's go ahead and get started. Now if you did want to go beyond what we're going to cover in this video and just looking at the code itself and actually wanted to dive a little bit deeper, maybe get like some live data, things like that, this is a good tool right here. This one, it's by Innova. It has different attachments for the different, uh, like the OBD2 ones for different models. You also have the OBD2. You can do some full reading, live data. You can check charts, things like that. It'll give you descriptions of, of what the issue is. It's, this is a more professional tool and it's not thousands of dollars. You can pick these up. I think they range anywhere from like two, 300 bucks all the way up to I think around 600 for this brand. There's different levels for like expert, beginner, things like that. You also have one of these type here. This is just a cheap code reader. You can clear the codes. It'll just display it on the screen. I did a product review for this one here as far as how to check your codes that I'll have down in the description. And then last but not least, you have these Bluetooth type where they just plug into the OBD2 port. They connect to your phone through an app. You can get these for like five bucks. I also have that down in the description, a product re review I did on using one of these. So if you did want to go beyond what we're going to cover here, these are some of the ones that you might want to consider without spending thousands of dollars. But let's get into the vehicle and I'll show you just a simple way to do it without needing any of this, just the key to your vehicle. Okay, so all you're going to need is your key. We're going to put it in. Now, you're not going to start your vehicle. You want to make sure that you just take it from the off position to the on, but not igniting it. So basically this. And that's it. So I'm going to get a close up. What we're going to do is we're going to follow this. We're going to go from off to on, off to on, off to on, and then end on on. And then we'll see here, it'll display the codes on the odometer little digital screen. And then all you have to do is cross reference those codes online or through, you know, whatever the make and model of your vehicle is a forum. And then you can find out exactly what that code is, is telling you. But let me get a close up. So this is off. The on position is here. So we're going to go off to on, off to on, off to on, ending on on, and that'll display the code. So one, two, three. And there's the first code, P0551, P0456. And now it's saying done. So those are the two codes that it did find. And then it goes back to your your tripometer here on the odometer screen at that point. And then if you, you know, you can change it out like that, but that at least gives you those codes. Okay. Now that was very easy. This particular vehicle here, this is a Jeep Wrangler TJ. If you're working on a TJ, I'll have some videos down in the bottom, other work I've done to this vehicle. But what I wanted to say is Chrysler vehicles in general that I've worked on in the past, Dodge, Jeep, things like that. They're very easy to check this way, just by doing a one, two, three, or sometimes one, two, three, four, five, it displays the code. Other manufacturers, sometimes it's not as easy. I've dealt with some, and we're going to check another vehicle now, and we're going to try it, but this will not work on all vehicles. Sometimes you will just need a scanning tool. If you do need a scanning tool, you don't have one, you can always go to an auto parts store. They'll check them for free, but let's go into another vehicle, and I'll show you this again. Next, we're in a Dodge vehicle. Same thing as the Jeep, it's a Chrysler product. So we're gonna turn it three times. We'll look at this display as well. And then we'll head over to a different make and model so you can see how that one responds to this technique. Same thing, one, two, three. Ending off on the on position. And since there are no engine codes in this vehicle, it just says done gives a clear signal, letting you know that it at least read everything and there was no stored codes. But this same process worked on this one as well. We're inside of a GM vehicle now, and I know that this vehicle has some engine codes already. We're gonna see if this technique will work. I haven't had much luck with GM vehicles using this in the past. As I've mentioned several times already in this vi uh, video, Chrysler products usually are the easiest ones to accept that process and display the codes, but GM, Sometimes this will work, sometimes it won't. Sometimes you have to hold down the, the trip reset button when you do it and it'll get it to work. Sometimes you just need a scan tool. So this particular one here is a 2003 Chevy Trailblazer EXT, but let's go ahead and try it and see if it'll work or not. Okay, one, two, three. We can see nothing happen on the screen. Next thing I'm gonna try is sometimes 
Some make and models require you to go five times. So let's try that one then. Let it reset here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, nothing on that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the reset button while doing it three times and see if that works. If not, this particular vehicle is gonna need a scan tool. Let's see, we're gonna push this down and now we're going to do it. One, two, three. Let it go, nothing. All right, let's try doing it five times. So we'll push this down and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Let it go. And let's see here. Nothing. All it did was just reset it. That's all it did. Didn't work. So this particular one here is going to need a scan tool to check it. And this is a GM vehicle. The last vehicle we're going to check here, this is a Kia. Now, I've never tried this on a foreign vehicle before. So we're going to go ahead and do the same process and see if that'll work or not. We're going to start off with one, two, three. As you can see, it didn't do a thing. And this is another vehicle that we know for a fact has the check engine code on. So it should have been displaying something. Next thing I'm going to try, we're going to do it five times and see if that might be the key with this vehicle. Okay, didn't do a thing either with uh, with this one. Okay, that wraps up this video. Just wanted to show you this quick trick on if you have an engine code that comes on in your vehicle, if you don't have the scan tools, you're not in a position to go and get it checked somewhere where you can try to do it yourself. As we saw, Chrysler products, for the most part, you shouldn't have any issues with them. They're pretty easy to use this on. Some of the other makes and models, as we saw, didn't respond quite as well. Now, it could be the, the years and the makes and stuff that I have. You may have another Kia or a GM vehicle that it might work on. So what I would recommend, if you have a check engine light that comes on, go ahead and try this process if you don't have a scan tool before you do anything, because you, you may get it to work even on a non-Chrysler vehicle. In the case that it doesn't work, then you will need a scan tool. And as we saw at the beginning, there's various ones you can get from very inexpensive Bluetooth ones to real, you know, cheap ones over the counter to more professional ones. It's up to you as far as what you're looking to do. If you just want to read the code itself, you can get a real cheap one. If you want something a little more in depth where you can kind of understand a little bit more about your vehicle, then you might want to spend a little bit more on that. I'll have different product reviews and other videos pertaining to what the codes mean and things like that down in the description. So please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope that this video helped you out with any projects maybe you're working on with your vehicle. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like this video. Subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.